There are new charges in the case of Danilo Cavacante. We're being told that he did some serious damage to somebody back in the month of September. Then he was captured. We're being told that even though the investigation still lingers on, people are still going to be talking about it with their family members, friends, and everything else. As for Calvacante, he has a preliminary hearing being scheduled for Friday, November 17th. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, baby. Earlier today, there was a protest at Senator John Fetterman's office. We're being told that the protesters started to support a ceasefire for all humanitarian purposes. This is getting way out of hand. It certainly is. Your turn, Samantha. Thanks, Dad. Some fighting starts to intensify against Gaza's largest hospitals, and that's where patients were evacuated. You can read more about that story on cbsnews.com as well as cbsphiladelphia.com. Now we have some breaking news. A one-year-old baby toddler has been found safe and sound in South Philadelphia. We're told that somebody accidentally started to kidnap him. That's not right. It certainly isn't. Yeah, Dad, I have to agree with that statement. Well, Lincoln University students who marched to Harrisburg today got action on state fundings. The Senate approved $640 million for Lincoln, Temple, and so much more to come. The funding bill will be on the Senate floor beginning on tomorrow, which is Tuesday, November 14th. Still to come on CBS News Philadelphia, I'll see how the Powerball numbers have done as I give you the latest, despite that jackpot being grown over $235 million. Then, the rest of our top stories after that. Stay right there. We'll be right back in less than a couple minutes.